So I was just wandering around my world, and I found this house, and it's just... It's, it's so cool, but it's filled with so many weird secrets. Okay guys, welcome back. Here, I am Glitch here again. Same thing I did in my last video, just a little zoom out here. So, today, since our um, Hex Collaborate special, we're just doing this for you guys, since we apparently you guys really loved it, and Labyrinth is a great show. So, um, oh no, I thought it was daytime. Okay, but anyway, so, um, we, as we said, once the Hexco Lab Rat special reached 100 views, we would reveal the Douglas Lab special, and that is what we're gonna do today. So, the first thing we needed for the lab was a cover-up, as in the series of the, um, Douglas's lab, he has just a house over his lab of power. So, here I've built this nice little house, and this CF, I really like CF a lot. Ninja and I did a really big work project on that on Galaxy Craft. I can show you that later in another video. And it's just a nice little house. I didn't really do much with the second story. But then, so, once we close the magical portal door of power, everything's going to have power of it today since that is awesome. Just wandering around, and oh, what does this lever do? There's a lever on the side of the house, randomly. I know there isn't really a lever, but this is the closest we could get. Oh. Ah, evil. There. That's a glitch, but we have it there. Okay, so it's just lagging because of the camera. And so, you see just this weird hallway passage. What is down here? So you just walk down here, and... Boom! It is Douglas's secret lab. So... Since they don't really show us too much of the lab, like only in two episodes, I believe, they show Douglas's lab. I've just built what I've been able to see. So, there is the control panel, like Davenport's lab, just a master control computer. And I'll show you what that lever does in a second. And then here's the cage he keeps the lab rats and Davenport in. I just built this out of regular cable. This is kind of fun. And the doesn't really have too much in it, but the highlight of it is Marcus's capsule. Now, I couldn't really do one. I built it, and I was kind of weird on building it. I'm not sure why I did. I put two dispensers in it for some reason. But anyway, so it has two dispensers, and as always, it can open its doors. I couldn't get them to be, like, as neat as you can't see them, but there. Oh, no. Evil. So you just walk in. And there are the two dispensers right there, and as in the other one, they give you bionic abilities. But in this one, instead of giving, in each capsule giving you one bionic ability, it gives you two. Be or it gives you all of them, so. Oh, I can't put them on like that? Darn it. Oh. I, again, I had to make, the, make these all from scratch, so, yeah. So... Chase's hat. I'm just gonna call it Chase's hat. The Chase hat. Adam strength and invulnerability, free speed, and super jumps. Maybe no. Okay, can I not even get it to work? Um, maybe it's just a. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, that's why. Okay, maybe not. I'm, I'm having some difficulties with this. Okay, so that's that part of the lab, and I'm sure you're all wondering, what is that weird crackling sound? And, of course, that is fire. So, um, we know there's the stereo where they fight, on it, where most of the fighting takes place in Bionic Showdown. If you haven't seen Bionic Showdown in the series... Turn this video off and do not watch it. I'm going to spoil the end for you soon. So, Marcus is related to the Labrats. Um, I'm not sure how the professional way is it, but basically... 
Douglas is Davenport's brother, his little brother, and he was the one who gave the lab rats bionics when they were kids, like they were little babies or something. They were, and the lab rats are just genetically engineered humans then, and then he gave them bionics, and then he was gonna use them as like bionic slaves or soldiers or something. So Davenport took them away and raised them in the lab, and he's really their father, well technically, because he was the one who raised them. I'm not sure why they base who the person's father was by who gave him bionics. I mean, we, the bio, biological parents is probably what should really matter. But anyway, so, when they're doing most of the fighting in Bionic Showdown, um, which is mostly takes here, um, Chase is hanging off the railing, and Bree is fighting Mercus, like, right there. Right there, people. And I actually should have built a ledge right there, since that's where Douglas and Davenport are fighting. But anyway, so Chase is, like, hanging on the ledge, and then Bree's fighting, and then, so, basically, this pit opens up. Because it used to be a sausage factory. I built that little thing in here. And Chase is just hanging over his doom. Right there. Yeah. So he's just hanging over his doom. And I'm not going to jump in that, even though I have the quantum suit. I'm not sure if it works, and my computer might be glitchy, so I'm not even going to try. But that's the pit of doom there. Yeah. That is the epic pit of doom. So that's pretty much it. So, if this is the first time you're watching a Hexco video, or just a channel to Minecraft, basically, tech it, um, we're, we're gonna be coming up with some mod reviews soon, hopefully, um, we're just a place for, um, well, fun videos for all the viewers there, just to help you have fun, some tutorials in there, we are going to continue our crazy build series, I'm probably gonna make that video today also, and that is gonna be the original Dark Red Matter Factory, or say Rebuild, so we're just gonna exit from the lab quickly and see if the super suit works, Boost? No. It doesn't want to boost. Oh. Okay. So that was the lab for Douglas. And Z. My suit does not want to go for me. Okay, so. Just like, comment, subscribe. Again, we really like comments. That really helps us. And we're just trying to become a good, um. YouTube channel. And oh, and by the way, the one more thing I forgot. Also, I will try to make a tutorial on how to make the Death Trap Pit. And I will also make this map probably available for download. And the person who, um, how I looked at the, uh, hello, um, I looked at the video for how to make this really cool piston door. I believe it was, oh yes, it was, um, Game Company for You, so give them a shout out. And if you see them, subscribe to them since they're awesome. So, that they helped me, um, where I just, I watched their video and it's very helpful since I've always wondered how to make one of these things and it's really cool since I like redstone. Tech has really helped me with redstone. So, that's it. Goodbye, quantum goodbye. Mwah.